Pastor Adebuye to retire. The General Overseer of RCCG, Pastor Enoch Adebuye, faces severe backlashes following a controversial prayer stating that Christians from other churches will bow to his congregation. A throwback video of the preacher from the church 2021 annual convention resurfaced just as one did, did some weeks ago that had the preacher berated. During the convention, Pastor Adeboye prayed for his congregation, stating that all Christians from other churches would bow down for ROCCG members. In his words, I decree by the name greater than every other name, Christians from all other denominations will bow before you. The statement has since sparked a wave of mixed reactions from social media users or who urged for the retirement of the preacher. Okay. So this statement was made in 2021. So why did people not uh, react to it? Why is it that it is now people are reacting to it? Well, uh, everyone is entitled to his or her opinion. And some people have disagreed that uh, this is not uh, the kind of prayer that's supposed to be prayed. I heard somebody who was trying to uh, attack uh, or condemn the statement made by by uh, Adiboye. And the person said, with all the things happening in Nigeria, so this is the kind of prayer. But... From what I'm getting, uh, he didn't pray the prayer now. But uh, even if you look at it, that he even said it then, that uh, other Christians will bow before his own uh, church members. I don't understand uh, that kind of prayer. Maybe uh, that was not what he meant. Mm. But if that was what he meant, the thing gets as it be. It, it sounds somehow. It really sounds somehow. Well, a lot of people are reacting to this. Why are we offended that a man of God prayed as he was led? Or are you afraid to bow for a fellow Christian? Will you rather bow for a Muslim or a pagan? <laughs> uh, the Bible says that uh, when that ah, there's a Bible passage that says that uh, when a man's way pleases God, he will make his enemy, you know, he will make his enemy, ah, uh, he will make his enemy to be at peace with him. You don't need to pray for anything that uh, somebody should bow. No, but you know, to me, it's not necessary. When your way pleases God, the God who sees in the in the secrets, whatever you must have done, when He wants to reward you, He will reward you openly. The whole world will see it. There are some things that we don't even need to be stressing ourselves for. Mm. Jesus handed over power to his disciples when the Holy Spirit came. David to Solomon when he was still alive. Elijah to Elisha. Paul to Timothy. Moses to Joshua, Paki Dayomi to Daddy Adibui, when they were all alive. That is the spirit of a great leadership. <laughs> is he the only pastor who prays in Nigeria? When millions of Muguns worldwide donate money in different currencies to you, you will definitely become reckless with waste. Can even claim God Almighty yourself. The Baba has been compromised by Nigeria corrupt politicians. He's at least his name or time and relevance. Abuse me here, but like we warned you of voting Tinubu APC and co, and you abuse us. But now the difference is clear. Hmm, seven up, <laughs> like seven up. The difference is clear. In Nigeria, where corruption, terrorists, and bad economy is the order of the day, shows that so-called men of God failed. Babadi Boye is the Joseph of our time. When I get problem with those of you criticizing him of God, uh, this man of God. Live your life and let him live his. He is retiring from anywhere. Or he's not retiring from anywhere. Well, that's your own cup of tea. But why disturbing yourself? He had only he had only would make a prophetic declaration. Please be careful of the addressing issues pertaining pertaining uh ministers of God. Mm, he's only worldly God of his business establishment it's called RCCG. Where he go green. Uh he go green retire if fees is too good oh, okay oh, a lot of people uh, of course now uh if not the way people they say ah no 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 don't talk about this one like this so when people don't understand some things you will ask questions but i think uh, in the nigeria setting <laughs> how dare you how dare you ask questions who you be who is your father who created you one good thing is that uh, you know the bible says that uh, those who know it they are god they shall be strong and do expect once you know your god nobody can threaten you with all manner of uh, whatever, because in this, this, at uh, this, uh, in this age and time, you see people twisting the Bible upside down. 
Just know your God. You know God. God is a loving person. You know God. What God wants. You give it to Him. What He wants. He wants praise, and He wants you to be holy. He wants you to do the right thing. He wants you to obey Him. Those are the things that we need to be, you know, we working towards. And how to please God, not men. How to please God? The Bible says that uh, even while we were yet sinner, that Jesus died for us. He loved us. It's not because uh, we did anything special. So the best thing is to know your God. Know God. Jesus, the author and finisher, looking unto him, the author and finisher of your faith. Mm. Yeah, for those who are Christians who are listening to me, I think you understand it. Once you know your God, forget any other thing. And don't let the spirit of fear envelop you. Because I believe that a spirit of fear is what makes people not to even question some things. Yeah. Well, everyone is entitled to his or opinion. What we need is rally not prayers it is high time this man joins <laughs> guru maraji age is telling on him he talks out of points now someone doesn't even know need to go down for god to bless another i think we should retire he's old okay these are the people who are calling for his retirement just know god for yourself oh, that is it so guys uh, let's say your opinion and have your take on this thank you for always listening bye